Davis then it's Russell then it's LeBron James and it's Reeves in at the shooting guard and Greg something to keep an eye on in this one the big man both these teams have talented front courts you're exactly right both rely on their bigs and, and the winner of the game is probably going to be the team that wins that front court matchup tip off goes to the Lakers Russell against Curry passes to LeBron and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up man is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James Clark this is a guy that just doesn't seem to age it's amazing yeah, it's really one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind, quite honestly, Kevin, on and off the floor. We know he spends a lot of time and money to keep his body in peak shape. He yet is still Take not showing Take any real signs of slowing down. We know Father Time is undefeated, but I tell you what, LeBron is giving it a run for its money. The first one falls. Hey, there are guys who have played as long as LeBron, okay? But how many have maintained their physical abilities the way he has so late in his career? I think that's a short list. And both free throws good for LeBron. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. This is his first free throw of the game. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any red flags or become alarmed about. It. And the first one drops. A legendary shooter, Thompson, is also a versatile defender who plays with great energy on both sides of the ball. And so Thompson nails both of them. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Thompson against LeBron. And That's the call great. is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now here's Thompson. And there's the whistle. Three-second Three violation. Here are the Lakers. And the Lakers with another turnover here. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with Steve Kerr. David. Well, Kevin, his strategy defensively is about containing them in transition. He wants his guys to try and control the pace and the tempo. Turn this game into a little bit more of a half-court defensive contest. It's a tall order, but that's what he wants. Guys? Thank you, David. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Here's Reeves. Here's Vanderbilt. And it's in there. Can't be thrown any better. That bounce pass hit him right in stride. Pass to Poole. Thompson from long range. And Davis pulls it down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Russell beyond the arc. They grab their own miss. Well, Davis, one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA, showing you great effort that time. Curry kicks to Thompson. Back to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State here. The pass to Green. 
Back to Thompson. And stolen by LeBron. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Reeves. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. This is it to pool. Thompson against James. The 15-footer. Here's Wiggins. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Oh, I like that effort from Andrew Wiggins there. Doing a nice job on the offensive glass. Russell kicks to LeBron. Vanderbilt against Wiggins. Pass to James. A three ball. Drains it from beyond the arc. LeBron's got five. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Poole finds Thompson. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah, magnet for fouls. Wiggins' explosiveness gives him a great advantage against most any defender. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. free throw no good you know it's interesting some people say Wiggins should play meaner but to me the most important thing is that he even proves his overall game every year Muhammad Bamba he's checked in for Anthony Davis and he's good on the second and here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played LeBron outside to Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. Six to shoot. Vanderbilt the pass to Reeves. Shoots over Poole. Reeves can't hit. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. Here's Poole. Dishes it to Green. And Green slams it in. And that IQ of Green, just sizing up defenses and making the right read in that pick and roll. Vanderbilt kicks to James. The pass to Russell. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Pass to Thompson. Launches a three. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. James. That one misses. The Warriors go the other way with it. Here's Poole. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. And the first one at the line is good. And the Warriors with some changes. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. And Kaminga subbed in for Wiggins. All free throws good from Poole. Here's LeBron. Five points in the game. Schroeder outside. Back to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. Here's the three. Warriors with the rebound. Pass to Poole. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Poole's got six. 
Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Now, here's Schroeder. Pass to Beasley. Shoots over Poole. The Lakers rebound. And the dunk by Bamba. Boy, Bamba really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and timing, and his intensity is really impressive. LeBron against Thompson. There's the pass to Looney. He's looking for Poole and finds him. And, yes, it's good. He's got eight. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. After a relatively slow start to his career, Mo Bamba has seen increased playing time, finally getting the opportunity to show why he was drafted sixth overall in 2018. And some changes here for the Warriors. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Klay Thompson. Peyton comes in for Poole. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Stephen Curry. Now, here's Kaminga. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Green breaking loose. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. And for Bamba, his shot blocking and ability to space the floor really stood out. And, Greg, that's a very valuable and unique combination. I mean, this guy has a 7'10 wingspan, covers a lot of ground defensively, moves his feet well, has a nice stroke. And at his height, He's able to get a lot of clean looks from beyond the arc. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. Offensive rebound. Looney now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Beasley with the bounce pass. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Down low. Five on the clock. Here's Hachimura, and there's another one for the Lakers. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Now, here's Kaminga. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the three-point shot of DiVincenzo is dangerous. Defense cannot allow him to get airspace from there. Here's Beasley. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That is his first foul of the game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Now here's James. He's got five. Passes it to Hachimura. Over Green, and that one's good. Hachimura. Hachimura's got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well, knows what's coming, and usually always makes the right pass. Kaminga up top, James covering. Peyton passes to DiVincenzo. No good on the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. To the inside, and it's Beasley that time, and the assist by Schroeder. And the Lakers lead by one. And, you know, we all know Schroeder can score now, but they're a nice assist to his wide-open teammate. Heaton passes to Looney. There's Kaminga. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on LeBron James. First trip to the line for him here. One falls for and the Lakers making a change here. Reeves is checked in, and the Warriors also making a change. Igudal is checked in. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Kaminga. And Schroeder's got the ball here for Los Angeles. They trail by one. 20 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Lock at six. Back to Beasley. A three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Iguodala kicks to DiVincenzo. Shoots over Schroeder. And so it's Jordan Poole making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball, and defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. Rui Hachimura out there with Malik Beasley. Then it's Anthony Davis, and there's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. The Lakers trail. Park of guys playing today. Who would you put your money on to be a successful NBA coach? You know, Kevin, the smart money is on point guards, but I think any player that's been a student of the game could be a successful coach, but point guards most likely is my answer. Chris Paul, maybe even a guy like Jalen Brunson in the future. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. Take a break. A scoring take breakdown a break. for the Warriors. Two shots. Making the most of their trips to the charity stripe, that's what they've done a good job of thus far in this one. Very comfortable at the line, and that's a good sign. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. Vanderbilt's checked in for Malik Beasley. The Warriors also with a sub. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Warriors trail. Curry passes to DiVincenzo. Now Thompson. He's covered by Hachimura. And Thompson is good for three. Thompson's got five points so far. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. Oftentimes, Clark, with Jared Vanderbilt, his impact isn't reflected in the box score. Yeah, you know, that's a good point, Kevin. He puts up solid rebounding numbers, but I think it's his defense, which is his greatest attribute. He's a lockdown defender, and he's a high-energy hustle guy who plays with a lot of edge and tenacity, and that has value on just about any team. Shooting two. And that one falls for Vanderbilt. And he can't hit the second. The Warriors leading. Curry with a wide open look. And the three off target. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Back to Hachimura. He dishes it to Russell. Shot clock at two. Here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. 
And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Pools checked in for the Warriors. Now here is Davis. Here's Russell. That one doesn't go. Great tee that time from Green. Poole the pass to Green. Outside Curry. For the three. That one no good. The Lakers go the other way with it. Here's Reeves. Guarded by Poole. Wiggins with the block. Great read that time by Wiggins. Anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender posted. The shot by Thompson, no good. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Loads it up for Davis. Vanderbilt inside. He's covered by Thompson. Russell from long range. And Curry pulls it down. Warriors have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Back to Poole. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. The Lakers in the lead. Outside, Russell. James outside. Pass to Davis. Warriors with the rebound. Curry looking it over. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. A miss that time would have put him up. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Reeves the pass to Russell. James outside. Here's Davis. And Looney sends it back. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Just five on the clock. James in the post. It's up against Thompson. The shot's good from LeBron. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. That was the 2K drop. As that move deserved another look. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Now, here's Poole. Eight points for him. In the corner, it's James. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Russell. Trying to get open is Davis. Russell back with back the bucket. Up. And now a five-point Laker lead. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Now, here's Poole. Curry passes to Looney. Poole up top. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Los Angeles leading by five. James looking it over. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That is the savvy of LeBron on display. Doesn't just convert, but draws the foul and has the chance to tack another one on his point total. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. 
Schroeder's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Kaminga's checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Warriors trail by eight. Poole bounce pass. Pass to Thompson. Will it go? And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. It's stolen by Kaminga. Poole on the wing. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Los Angeles leading by eight. The pass to James. Here's Reeves, guarded by Poole. James against Thompson. They get it back. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Getting ideal positioning and using it to capitalize on the offensive glass, that's evidence of the strength that LeBron James has. And some changes here for the Warriors. Jermichael Green comes in for Wiggins, and it's Peyton in for Clay Thompson. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Warriors trail by 11. Takes it inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. Good on both. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Bamba inside. Defended by Looney. Davis count the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Davis never seems to take a rebound for granted. I mean this guy is always doing the extra work to get to the ball and looking at Anthony Davis a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean along with every team he's been on. This is a superstar player. I mean no question about that. Uh, he can headline a roster full of superstars not much on the floor that A.D. can't do. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Warriors trail by 12. Outside, Baton. Green kicks to Kaminga. Passes it to Looney. Down to five on the shot clock. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. Now here's Beasley to the middle. And James throws it down. This game, another feather in LeBron's cap. And by now, he's got a lot of feathers in a lot of caps. What a night. Pass to Kaminga. Now here's Green. Outside, Payton. Back to Green. The dish to Payton. Takes the three. No good that time. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. James finds Beasley. Back to James. Pass to Bamba. Loads it up for Davis. Hammers the alley-oop through. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Poole, the pass to Payton. Now Kaminga. Hits the three-point bomb. Kaminga's got five points so far. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Back to LeBron. Schroeder outside. Inside, kicks it out to James. Back 
Dibamba. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Up again, Davis on the follow. Davis has got nine points now in the quarter. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yes, they can. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. Cool, no good. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. From downtown, and it's LeBron James with the three. 18 points for him. And LeBron has added the three-point shot to his bag, especially the last several years. Outstanding at knowing when to let that three fly. Now the pass to Looney. Now here's Kaminga. Five points in the game. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. It's his first trip to the line. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And I don't think there's any question about it, guys. He's got to bring that percentage up. I mean, those are the kind of free throw numbers that will get you in a coach's doghouse and get your teammates a little mad at you. And that one falls for Looney. Patchy Murray, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Then for the Warriors, Green, he's checked in for Jermichael Green. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Jordan Poole. And so Looney nails both of them. 40 seconds left to play here in the half. Schroeder outside. Back to James. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Pass to Kaminga. And it's good. Two points. Kaminga's got seven. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And so that's the end of the first half. Lakers ahead, up by 12. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. With Draymond Green, Draymond rebounding a bit of a struggle. How do you improve that? Hit your man. You know, get five guys to the boards. Guards get in there and clean up those boards that's loose. But, you know, our big guys got to hold our mans off, and we've been doing that this time. We'll see if all five can get you more boards in that second half, Dre. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 18 points, three rebounds, and one steal. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline in the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Golden State? Ice cold, frigid from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in this room? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. And that's going to do it for us here. The Second half of action is coming your way.